If your adult child needs a safe space to avoid offensive words, you failed as a fucking parent. If anything in my seminar offends you, blame your parents for raising a pussy. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. One of my favorite rice recipes ever. Ragu of your choice, doesn't matter. Any. I like pork cracklins as my protein, it's up to you. They start off very, very hard and crunchy. I cook these in there and they expand. As you can see, they're just little tiny slivers. It's basically just like pork fat, but I don't know, it's good. It's really tasty, makes the rice really tasty. And then I get Del Monte's Petite Diced Tomatoes Green Chili, medium heat. A little spice factor to it. Um, and then adobo to flavor and olive oil. And that is going to make the most amazing meal, simple meal that is super duper tasty. Like I said, protein of your choice, guys, whatever you want to do. I prefer pork cracklins, that's just me, or chicharrones, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to heat three cups of water, and that is two cups of white uh, enriched grain uh, rice. Uh, three cups of water. We're going to go until we start seeing little tiny bubbles at the bottom, and then we're going to start adding things. So let's wait until this starts bubbling. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're getting to the time when I can see little bubbles start coming up from the bottom. That's been on high. So what we're going to do now is add our adobo to taste. I give it a little bit of flavor, a little bit of the salty flavor. Not going overboard, but just enough. And... That's what I'm waiting for, that sound. That means it's gonna to start to bubble here in a sec. Just like that. Now, we're gonna add in the diced tomatoes. And we're gonna take the pork cracklins. I'm gonna put a healthy amount of those in there. You'll see. All right, now we're gonna add the rice. Both cups and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Boop, just like that. And now, we're gonna give this a stir. We're gonna give it a stir. Beautiful. All right. Still here at bubbling. So we're gonna take it off high heat. We're gonna put it on low. Then we're gonna put the lid on, we're gonna come up here to the timer, put 20 minutes, and then we're gonna hit start. And in 20 minutes, we're gonna put the lid on, 20 minutes we'll come back, we'll have beautiful, awesome cooked rice, and then we're gonna add some ragu to it. Ooh, guess what's done? Turn that off, turn that off, you ready? Oh my god. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Perfection. Look at that. All right. Just going to take a scoop. Okay, I'll take two scoops just because. My ragu's gotten a little watery because this container's been open for three days. And if you know anything about ragu, once you open it, it normally gets a little watery, it loses its... Oh gosh, I can't open this. Hold on one sec. Ah. It loses its thick cohesion. So this one's gotten a little bit watery over the past three days, but normally it's nice and thick. And we're just gonna put a little bit on there like so. That's about it. And that is my ragu rice dish. Use a protein of your choice. You can also add seasoned black beans to this if you want to, and it tastes phenomenal. You're welcome, world. This is a cheap, incredible meal. It's actually surprisingly low calorie. Um, two cups of white rice. So this is two cups of white rice. This is actually the entire pot of rice um, with the pork cracklins added is only 450 calories. You could feed a ton of people with this pot of rice. This would feed like five people six people and then obviously you're adding a little bit of calories with the ragu so a simple bowl of this you're looking at about 300 calories uh that's very minimal to be honest with you but anyways that is ragu rice um it's really good when it's thick but ragu rice you're welcome subscribe smash the like button show me a little love and i'll catch you guys on the flip toodles